Hey everybody, this is Brett, and many of you know how much of an overachiever I am. And at the end of the day, I usually am able to say, man, I got so much done today. But I'm also usually able to say, my neck hurts, and I'm stressed, and my body is in pain. <laughs> And so, when I feel all of that coming on, let me tell you what I do. And it is that I focus largely on this concept that I've figured out, and I've related myself to an automobile. And most of us know that a car gets the best gas mileage at around 55 miles an hour. And if I say to myself, well, how fast have I been going today? It's usually at least 70, but probably more like 80 or 90. And the optimal speed for a human being is the one that gives us the most longevity and makes us feel as though we did accomplish something really great, but we don't feel as though we're damn near dead. <laughs> but if you've been going too fast for whatever reason, then this is what you can do you can go slow, too slow. You can do the opposite. And I know that sounds very simplistic, but it actually, it really, really works. And I'm going to show you exactly. And after you watch me doing these things, you'll probably feel better just from watching me. Now watch this. I'm going to do some dishes at 25 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take some nice deep breaths and I'm going to think about how I don't have to finish these dishes very fast, very soon. I can do these dishes so slow. Ah. I might even sing a little song. Okay, so another thing that I used to do a long time ago, when I lived in Layton, or in Utah, I used to go to the Layton Thai Temple. Okay, and I would walk around and do the walking Thai massage, or, or the walking Thai meditation. And all you do is, is you just, you can do the, the prayer position if you like. Put your hands together like that. And they walk really, really slow. It would take you like a half an hour to get from one side of the room to the other because you're walking slowly, slow. <laughs> and this just counteracts having gone fast. Just do things really slow for an hour or two. And pretty soon you'll find that you feel so much better. And then just relax and do a nice self-massage and stretch out and lay on the floor. Lay on a nice flat floor just uh, with a little bit of cushion. Just a little bit of cushion that's so it's not pushing on all your muscles. And that too, you know, that, that uh, what is the Shavasana position on the floor so relaxing and pretty soon you'll find that you have unwound and that you're a new person feeling so much better now there's one other thing that i want to point out here and that is that it's not just your body and your activities that have been going too fast it's also your mind that has been going too fast and most of us know about meditation, but you don't have to go so far as to actually sit and meditate, not that that's not a good thing. 
what you can do is you can think about less mental processes, less thinking. And so if you've been thinking about 50 things per minute, just as an example, all throughout your day or 100 things per minute, how about if you just think of a few things per minute? And they could even be something like positive affirmations for slowing down your mind. You could think, I can just slow down my mind and I don't have to worry about anything at all because I know that everything plays itself out in the end and God is taking care of everything or Buddha is taking care of everything or you know, stuff like that. And so while you're doing your slower physical activities, you're also relaxing your mind and coming to a new understanding that all is well. Okay, so look at your posture right now. That's another thing to consider here because your posture shows where your mind is. And if you're forward like this, that shows that you're in an aggressive posture. If you're laid back, everyone wants to be laid back, then that's a, a more of a submissive posture. And so many people have a forward head posture because of that. Think about all of these things and analyze yourself. I have a lot of Virgo energy, okay? <laughs> and it's a good thing sometimes. And, and so at least find a neutral position to be in for a while, or even do the opposite, a submissive posture. And that will help for all of the bodily balances to come back to neutral. So I want to thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video.